The Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on Earth and was awarded UNESCO World Heritage Site inscription in 1981. Home to over 9,000 species of marine life, the reef as we know it today sits on top of ancient coral, which is estimated to be over 20 million years old in places. Many of the world's leading researchers and marine biologists have delivered groundbreaking discoveries working in the region and have helped address some major health challenges faced across the globe. Professor Jamie Seymour, I work at James Cook University in the Australian Institute of Tropical Health and Medicine uh, and basically I work on venomous animals, mainly venomous marine animals. So when you take venoms from venomous animals, think of them as cocktails, they're like vegetable stews, they've got a lot of different components in them. So one of the components, for example, that we've taken from big box jellyfish, we can actually cure arthritis in mice in under two weeks. Understanding these venoms leads to things in the future that, to be honest, we really don't know where it's going to go, but it's an incredibly exciting field. We have people like Sir David Attenborough turn up here and they're filmed here in Cairns. So the, the film industry is enormous within Cairns, and that's just one part. I think most people sort of think of Cairns as this tropical tourist region, and it is that, and it's brilliant at that. But we have some of the best researchers and groups in the world, not Australia, but in the world, based here doing amazing stuff. One of the beauties of working in Cairns is that you have access to you know, World Heritage listed stuff. So you've got the Great Barrier Reef on one side of you and you've got you know, the rainforest on the other, which gives you a unique ability to go to places within a day's travel. So from us, from a research perspective, it, it literally gives you the entire world at your doorstep. And I don't know of any other place in the world that allows you to do that. I'm Ryan Donnelly, CEO of Reef Restoration Foundation. Climate change is bringing disturbance events closer together. So as that frequency of events increases, and so the full capacity of coral reefs to recover after that disturbance becomes diminished. So reef restoration aims to accelerate that process of recovery by helping to, helping to rebuild those coral reefs that have been affected by events like bleaching and cyclones. There's a number of methods to rebuild a reef. Uh, the method that we've chosen is one that's been established in the Caribbean, and it involves growing coral fragments in the water column where they get greater access to uh, sunlight for photosynthesis and they're able to grow spherically and research has shown us that they grow three to eight times faster than they do on the reef. What I love about my work is there is a movement being created and it's a movement that's replicable and it's community based and we're bringing along people with us. People from businesses, from corporations, from all compass points of our community are getting on board and they're realising that there are things that they can do in their day-to-day -day lives that can make a difference to the Great Barrier Reef. What Cairns does really well is it collaborates. There's no uh, bridge burning in Cairns. Uh, we, we work very well together um, across disciplines. We've got uh, two universities that work very well with organisations such as mine. And um, I think that's, that's, the, that's the critical part, is our ability to work together. 